Now, the financial markets all sprouted from the New York Stock Exchange, which was founded under a tree on Wall Street 217 years ago. But the times are changing, and it's off with the old and on with the new. Michelle McCory explains from New York. Michelle? Hi, there is Linda. Well, the New York Stock Exchange's control of U.S. stock trading is slipping away. The nice Euronext executed a record low 30.2% of May's trades. That is down 2.8 points from February for the worst three months since June in 2008. Now, the beneficiary was not the big board's traditional rival. That's the Nasdaq, who's been the rival for 38 years. In fact, taking the trades are Direct Edge Holdings and Bats Exchange, which more than doubled their combined share since August to 22.8%. And the reason speed and efficiency. Brokers tell us that the prestige of the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ trading platforms is wearing thin and that traders just want the fastest and best execution that they can get and at the lowest prices. So NICE's Euronext share in the world's biggest stock market declined even after that $3 billion purchase of the Chicago-based Archipelago Electronic Exchange back in 2006. And this just serves to highlight the growing influence of alternative trading systems like BATS and Direct edge, which are both majority owned by Wall Street firms. And shares in both the NICE and the NASDAQ are down year to date. NASDAQ down almost 16 percent. Now, the NICE and the NASDAQ are home to all public U.S. companies, which have a total market value of $10.6 trillion. And their combined grip on trading has waned to 50.8 percent from about 74 percent back in March 2006. And has slender nearly all of those losses this year coming from from the Nasdaq. Huss? Michelle, how are the Nasdaq and the, the NYSE doing compared to other bourses? Well, really, Heslinda, not very good. Um, if you look at the FTSE Mondo Vision Exchanges Index, that tracks the performance of 18 of the world's publicly listed exchanges. And the NICE and Euronext and NASDAQ OMX are the worst stocks this year among those 18 bourses. Now, that is even as average daily U.S. trading climbed to a record in March. And meanwhile, the New York Stock Exchange is still uh, trying to entice uh, more listings or to keep its existing listings. And it may, in fact, extend its relaxation of listing requirements. In February, the New York Stock Exchange suspended a requirement that companies maintain a $1 minimum stock price. That was suspended until June 30th. As Linda, it may be extended even longer. Back to you. Michelle McCory, thank you so much for that.